Oh no, it definitely smelled like a Sasquatch. It was it was coming in off through the kitchen window. Mm -hmm, I think it followed us back here, Skip. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure it followed us. And they're smarter than they uh, let on. People are like, oh, just a big dumb Bigfoot, but no, it's they're bright. Oh, you ready, Skip? All right, let's go. <music> Hey everybody, my name is Clark Pickens. This is the show Ask Clark, where I answer all your squirrel questions. I'm the head nut here at uh, friendsofsquirrels.org, and today's question is, can I feed my squirrels bread? Well, yes, but I wouldn't. I wouldn't, you know. Uh, bread is like, what is bread? Bread is like a, a slice of sugar, you know. It's the carbs that hold the turkey together, is what Karen always says. She goes, she goes Clarky? You gotta stop eating all those carbs. You're gonna get pudgy like your dad. And I'm like, Karen, just give me another donut, lady. But what I thought I would do, uh, instead of telling you what not to do, let's give you some suggestions uh, for what, what you should do. Basically, squirrels eat nuts, okay? There's most nuts, and I'm, I'll, I'll, I got a list here. I'm gonna give you a list of the good nuts to feed them. These are the best things you can possibly feed them. Uh, white oak acorns. Not the red oak, the white oak. I know that's a, if you're in that, you can give them the, the red oak, um, but they're uh, more tanniny. And they don't, they'll eat them in a pinch, but they prefer the white oak ones. Uh, the beech nut, the butternut, the hazelnut, the hickory nut, the pecan, the walnut, all those. Leave them in the shell, throw them out there. They will go nuts for those nuts. Um, around here, and we uh, feed a lot of hazelnuts, or as I like to call them, filberts. We're uh, big, big buyers of filberts. Uh, so uh, we buy by the truckload and we put out filberts. Um, also, we do have lots of oak trees around here and, and that is a, a big thing. Uh, other excellent things you can feed are fruits and vegetables. They like the apples and the cantaloupes and the grapes and the strawberries and the watermelons. If you've got uh, some broccoli, some carrots, peas, yellow squash, zucchini, all that stuff. They love it and it's all good for them. That is great food for squirrels. Uh, and there's nothing better than on a hot summer day to put out some sliced open uh, watermelons and see your squirrels go out there and, <laughs> and then they come out looking like they uh, were in the middle of a zombie movie. It's hilarious. I love it. <laughs> uh, as far as okay foods, uh, corn, they love the corn. Now, now, it's not that they don't like these foods. It's that they love them, but it's like, it's like me eating potato chip pie, right? It's okay for them. They love it, but you shouldn't feed it to them all the time. It's like eating junk food for them. So like corn, peanut butter, roasted peanuts. And I'll tell you, let me tell you about regular, you don't give them a raw peanut. Those things can carry a fungus. You need to have those things cooked. So don't go to your peanut farm and pick a peanut and give it to them. You got to give them the roasted ones. And when you buy them in the bag or whatever, they're going to be roasted. Uh, but even some of those, the shell on them, check them. Check them before you put them out if they have any mold on them or anything. That's not good for them. Uh, so a roasted peanut, not a raw peanut. Raw peanuts can be dangerous for them. Um, pistachios are okay. Uh, pumpkins and pumpkin seeds. After Halloween, we always, we throw all the pumpkins out and back, and they just chow down on those. A lot of the mixes you buy will have pumpkin seeds in them, corn, peanuts, uh, sunflower seeds, which are also on the okay list, but it's not the not very uh, nutrient for them. And then the thing that you should never, never really give them is human junk food. Now, uh, I, I did, I did have a potato chip just the other day. Uh, we were out on a walk. I put the potato chip down. Squirrel came up. Or a chipmunk. A chipmunk was a chipmunk. Chipmunk came up, ate out of my hand. It was, it was adorable. I would not go buy bags of ruffles and feed them to all the squirrels out back. I would not be doing that, but you know, occasionally, and they're gonna do it. You know, uh, we had a squirrel we rescued actually, uh, that was living pretty much on French fries and anything it could get out of a fast food uh, garbage can. And uh, now we've transitioned it onto a, a filbert diet. It must have lost, I don't know. I mean, they don't weigh much anyway, but he was, he was a plumper. He was a plumper squirrel. And uh, now he's all fit as a fiddle and out there running around. So, uh, anyway, the best things, nuts, vegetables, uh, fruits, and then in moderation, you know, you buy most of the um, bags of squirrel or bird food you get are going to have the other five 
things in it that are okay, you know, like your pumpkin seeds, your your sunflower seeds, your roasted peanuts, your corn, uh, your, uh, stuff like that. So it's all right, but if you're gonna feed, if you're gonna go out of your way to feed them, give them some good nuts or some veg scrap vegetables. Scrap vegetables, throw them out there, they will eat them. So uh, anyway, I hope that uh, helped that out. Don't feed them bread. Give that to the ducks or the stupid birds. Yeah, they can have your bread, but don't give don't give that stuff. Eat it yourself. Make some toast. Put a little uh, peanut butter on there. I love toast. Carbs. Karen's keeping me off the carbs, though. She thinks she thinks I'm getting fat, but whatever. Uh, if you have a question, you can uh, email me, Clark, at friendsofsquirrels.org. You can call the uh, squirrel question hotline at 503-438-7775. You can tweet us on the Twitter at F.O. Squirrels. And always, you can visit our website for more episodes of Ask Clark over there at friendsofsquirrels.org. Thanks for watching. Thanks for your questions. Make sure to share this video with your friends and hit the like and subscribe and all that nonsense. And uh, till next time, I'm Clark Pickens, Head Nut, friendsofsquirrels.org. I can, I can smell it now. Did you close that window? Did you close that window?